So Heroes of the Storm is a game that is a constant evolution, and this past year has probably been our biggest year ever for adding both amazing new heroes, amazing new content, and amazing new features. Uh, just the addition of Heroes 2.0 alone has changed so much about the game, but we're constantly updating the game. You know, whether it's new heroes, whether it's new features, it's just so much cool stuff coming into the game that it always feels alive. Well, I would think, I think we'd all agree that the biggest thing for Heroes of the Storm this year was 2.0. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was such a big moment for the game. We had entirely new systems in the game, new progression system, new reward system. We had all kinds of promotions around it as well. We brought all the Overwatch content into the game, which was awesome. It's the best version of the game we've ever had. So, so much stuff that we added that we always wanted with this brand new progression system. All times of loot that we didn't, didn't even exist in the game before, so all new ways to customize your heroes and your gameplay experience. The other cool thing that I really liked about that moment is that it gave us an opportunity to also highlight all of the stuff that we've done over the previous year or two or whatever, where we've been constantly updating this game. Like, we've been putting new things into the game regularly. Even the release right before 2.0, we had just redone kind of the in-game UI with the, the party frames at the top. And 2.0 kind of let us shine a spotlight on all that stuff for players who hadn't seen it before. One of the cool things, at least for me, with Provius was we got to bring in a StarCraft unit and actually give it a personality, give it a character. In StarCraft, you don't get a lot of time to become friends with the units that you're creating there you know, greased in a second. But at least in Heroes of the Storm, we can focus on one of these characters and really bring them as a new hero to Heroes of the Storm. I think the community was really surprised by that too, because when they kind of got wind that it was going to be a probe, they didn't know what to expect from that. And I think you guys, the, the art team, the sound team, did such a great job infusing Probius with all this personality. So it's really the closest you've gotten to know a probe ever. And then on the game side, I really like him just because he's got a different take on the mage kit as well. He's like this setup mage where you need some time to set up ahead of time. You've kind of throwing down your, your slowing areas and you've got uh, you know various zoning control that's going on as well. And so that's kind of a cool mechanic for his character as well. Lucio coming at you. Lucio's pretty cool for me because at his base level, like he's actually pretty simple to play. You know, you don't really need to do much for his healing. You just skate around and you're healing. But switching back and forth between healing and speed actually makes it where he's got a reasonably high skill ceiling. You have to kind of manage when are you trying to get out of a fight, when are you trying to get into a fight with your team, and you know, when are you trying to heal your team up. And so what seems like a pretty simple character to start with has some really cool mechanics that let you kind of show off your skill. Cassie was really exciting to me because we got to go back to D2 again and specifically bring the Javazon mm -hmm. from D2 that we all know and love into Heroes of the Storm. And the last kind of D2 character we brought in was Zul the Necromancer, and that was so well received and people were so excited. There was so much nostalgia around it, and I think Cassie kind of brought the same thing with it. But even better than the nostalgia was that I think she plays really, really well in Heroes of the Storm. Such a fun, engaging kit. She does abilities that no one else in the game does. I mean, just the fact that she adds in this new element where you need to always keep moving to try to increase that damage reduction, I think is a really cool aspect to her too. We basically took what the, you know, the character, the Amazon from the original D2 and said, what would she look like 20 years from now? That's why you see Cassie as a little bit more, uh, you know, mature, you know, her hair is going kind of gray, but she's still this fierce, uh, you know, Amazon warrior that just brings it to the game. And it was really fun trying to take something that we did 20 years ago and saying, well, how would we evolve that to uh, what, what she might look like now? The world of Overwatch is obviously Blizzard's newest IP and this, this phenomenon that's really taken all of us on such an amazing ride in the last year here. And we were fortunate enough to bring a couple Overwatch heroes into the Nexus over the last year. But for the first time, we got to bring the Overwatch universe in with a new battleground and two new heroes this year. The heroes had been Heroes of the Storm, but finally bringing one of the, the environments of Overwatch into the game and seeing it next to you know, StarCraft and some of the Diablo worlds. It's like it's, it, it was finally nice to see the new kid on the block fully immersed into Heroes of the Storm. And when you started saying that, you said World of Overwatch. Is that, are we announcing something? <laughs> I can't talk about that. Right? Hey, y'all out there, if you're 
you're gonna get through the summer. You need stamina. You need strength. You need darkest feelings. Bust your ass workout. I mean, one of one of the the fun moments this year was our celebration, the pool party, right? I mean, you can't argue with Tychus and his speedo. I mean, that that uh, that is just hilarious. The cinematic that came with it was just awesome. It was something that we had planned on doing uh, a year ago, but for some reason or another, we just couldn't get it get it done in time, so we saved it for this year, and it just came out fantastic. Yeah, I think also just the brawl that came out with it, Pull Party, was incredibly popular with the community. It was just a really fun experience. You know, you've got stitches in a bikini pulling people into the pool, and it just worked out as a brawl. Like, it really kind of resonated with everyone, and so we'd love to keep on doing more stuff like that as well. Well, it's about summertime. I just want to thank everyone in the community for all your support on Heroes of the Storm. We've been having a blast developing this game, seeing all your feedback, incorporating changes into the game. We have a ton more planned coming up. There are some exciting things in the future. I cannot wait for you guys to see all this stuff, but thank you very much for all your support. We'll see you in the Nexus.